The last thing we need to do to finish up our hole making now uh, is to uh, create a spiraling operation on that counterbore uh, P-top feature. So I've selected my counterbore P-top feature. I'm going to go to Solid Mill Traditional Toolbar, and I'll come out here until I get to the spiraling icon. I'm going to select that. So I've got spiraling selected. We have to first, like every other operation, we have to tell it what tool that we want to use. I'm going to use my quarter inch end mill. 6,000 RPM is as fast as the mini mill can go. I believe if you look up on our feeds and speeds chart, we'll see that 2,000 inches per flute is what we want for this tool for the X, Y direction. And four ten thousandths is what we're selecting for the Z direction. That's inches per flute. So it's, a, I believe, a three flute end mill, so it'll be three times that per revolution. And um, so we've got those set. Again, double check these by looking them up in the chart. On the strategy tab here, we can, uh, let's do a true spiral. We wanna go counterclockwise so that it will be climb milling as it goes around the inside of that uh, uh, roughly pocket, I guess. We're gonna just do it all in one pass so we don't need to have a clearing step or any rough stock one pass, one spring pass, which means it will go around completely one circle when it gets to the bottom of the hole. Um, we don't need to worry about, our, our, let's see, our drill hole diameter is here. Drill hole diameter was 0.25, we'll call it 0.25. I'm not gonna use a can cycle, no stock allowance. Total depth that reads this from the feature, but it is 0.25 inches. Starting depth is zero. We're gonna offset tool radius, yes. We're gonna use cutter compensation, no. Turn that off. Uh, we're just gonna depend on the tool being the right diameter. And links. We can go with the defaults here, okay. It creates that spiraling operation. And if we, uh, we go ahead and simulate those three. Now, before I go to the simulation, again, we're gonna look at our, our collision detection. And I've gone ahead and made sure that full collision detection is turned on, but I've increased the tolerance to 5,000. So that should get us past the, uh, the peck drilling operation with that F drill crashing into the part. So I'm gonna say, okay, we'll go ahead and run the simulation. And so the spot drill works. The peck drilling is working with that greater tolerance of five thousandths. And now the spiral is going down once around at the bottom and then the next hole. So now we've created our counterboard holes.